Hey everybody, it's the Goose. You might be asking yourself, Goose, what are you doing today? Why are you wearing a headlamp? Well, the Goose will tell you. Goose, Magic Mike, Gold Ninja, decided we were gonna come and check out an old abandoned hard rock mine. Now, let's get the disclaimer out of the way first. Goose actually did a lot of research on this. I mean a lot. Made phone calls to people, Facebook posts, hey, anybody know about this old mine? Nah, 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 nah. Had to check out the claims, everything else. Apparently this used to be claimed up until a couple years ago. Apparently the dude that had it passed away and his family decided not to renew the claim. Hence why the Goose, Magic Mike, and Golden Ninja are here. But the hiking suck. So, after burning up all those electrolytes and everything, it's time to re-upload the nutrients. So, cheers. Ah. Awesome. Uploading nutrients. But here is the second disclaimer. Do not screw around inside of abandoned mines. Just don't. Goose has done his homework on this. Goose has been mining for a while now. I know what to look for. I know what to stay away from. And even uh, chatting with uh, one of the guys that used to actually dig in this mine gave me, stay away from here. Don't go here. Hey, in this part, we use dynamite. There might be deck cord laying in the ground. But anyways... We're going to head in, take a peek, maybe uh, sample a few spots, and uh, see what we can find. Check back in a bit. Everybody. So the guy that used to have the claim on this, he was a rock hound. He was all up in here for crystals. The one guy that Goose talked to, who used to come in here and mine with him, you know, just kind of as a buddy, he was after gold. And what he told me was, Goose, you gotta chase the granite iron oxide areas and find the, the strings that run through here. That's where you're gonna find the gold. Now, all around in here, you'll see little soft pockets of sand. Stuff like right up in here. This stuff, believe it or not, is really, really soft. In here is where you find all the crystals. The gold, on the other hand, is going to be up in here. Up in this old, rotted out granite. In between the two layers of whatever, I don't know, big giant words like rock. But... All of the gold is going to be packed up in between these layers here. So we're going to dig a bunch of this out right there. And we're going to take it home, crush it up, pan it out, and probably be totally disappointed. But hey, it's an adventure. So we'll check back in a bit. in here for dynamite there's one right here got one way up in here there's one down here and it looks like the reason they finally stopped pushing this direction is 
solid granite everywhere. But all the rest of it that we looked at, oh, it's granite, 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 granite everywhere. But if we go back a little bit further, you start finding those pockets of that soft material where they were looking for all the crystals and uh, gold and who knows what else. It friggin' ghost of Davy Jones or something. But anyways, this is crazy. Goose has never been in something like this. Gold Ninja was like, Hey guys, you're digging in the wrong hole. And uh, I was like, you don't know what you're talking about. And <laughs> sure enough, Gold Ninja was like, right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so apparently there's two mines out here and the first one we were in was the wrong one. But now we in the right one. And we know that for a fact. Back here we found some candles. You can tell where people have been working by candlelight. No pick marks in the wall. So we're going to head back that way. Check it out. Look at all the crystal in there. Christmas candle. Somebody's probably got it on the cheap. But melted wax all over the place. Dang. Look at that. That's some somebody been in here smoking a blunt. <laughs> Alright. Let's start hammering some of this out. So look at this, right in here, right there. Probably pyrite, but still awfully cool to see it. Look at that. That is awesome. We're gonna keep pushing this direction because all this here is real, not loose, but it's soft, and when you bang it off, you're starting to find large crystal deposits in here, and they just keep getting bigger and bigger as you go. So we're gonna keep digging that way. Listen to me, why don't you trust me? I don't know, right there, I mean, there's a whole bunch of them. I have a chunk right here, hold on, hold on. See that chunk? See it on there? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it. if we follow the pocket, we'll probably find chunkier shit. That's soft stuff in there. Yeah, that's soft stuff. Yeah, that's soft stuff. Yeah, that's soft stuff. Check this out. It's kind of cool. See that chair? Oh, yeah. Smoke crystal. Oh, yeah. You can see it back down in there. Yeah. Look at this, though. I know, but you can't, you can't even, you can't even move that. That's a old, 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 old. Yeah. Looks nice. Yeah. I don't even care if we find gold. This is just fun. This is fun. I'm down. Here's the funny thing. It's Goose, a <laughs> Goose has never hard rock mine before. So he really doesn't even know what he's looking for. We're just kind of... Ooh, look, something shiny. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 
But I will say, it's a cool adventure. Got a few things that look neat. We're chasing old scenes that are in here. Uh, biggest thing is, is don't want to work overhead. We're kind of working laterally, but moving very slowly, watching for shifting. Uh, I don't know. Goose might have to buy this claim just to say he's got one. Anyways, we've been inside of this thing for quite a while now. What's nuts is the goose is normally uh, highly claustrophobic. And uh, being inside a hard rock mines always makes the goose nervous. But we're having fun. When they have time to form in those cubes. Yeah, the, the, perfectly. Yeah. Like, yeah, if we can find stuff in like those cubes, you, you can sell that pyrite because a sucker and his money are parted very easily. <laughs> Mike, find us big chunks of pyrite. We can take it to one of the hippie stores and they'll buy it for like its medicinal properties. <laughs> It's your power to find the gold. <laughs> uh, hey, Mike, I got ten bucks that says that grocery bag doesn't make it to the bottom of the mountain. <laughs> Holy crap. It is. We're back in here. I think I'm done. I don't think I'm going to find anything else. It's dark. It's dark. Hang on, let me see if I can. Oh, it doesn't want to let me do it. What? We could turn off all the lights yeah. and be all scared. You can't turn the off. Hang on. Let's be funny. <laughs> hey, everybody. I just wanted to show you real quick what absolute darkness looks like. You can hold your hand in front of your face and you can't even see it. It's kind of ridiculously scary in here to think what could go wrong because this place isn't shored up. The, when this was originally mine, it was, it's, they're pushing through solid granite. So hopefully it went the right way. But if we don't make it out of here, man, who did that? Who farted? Man, it's a small space, guys. Come on. Really? Go ninja. Jesus Christ. The, come on, man. Why you do that? That's your flavor. I can Oh, that. man. No, that all... That smells like vegetables. Mike! <laughs> Mike! Oh, man! About 200 feet inside of a mountain in absolute pure darkness. But the one thing I want to stress more than anything else, hard rock mining is no joke. Hard rock mining is dangerous, especially in old mines. The only reason that Goose, Gold Ninja, hiding back there, Magic Mike went in, we had a lot of intel on this. We knew the guy that had the claim on it before. I personally have dug, you've probably seen him, or Dump, has been inside of that mine blasting in the past. So I had a lot of intel as far as what was going on in there, what to watch out for, where to dig, where not to dig, what to stay away from, etc. That mine we were in has no shoring in it whatsoever. We took a huge risk going in there. I can't stress that enough. You have to be so careful on everything you're doing. Goose likes to play all fun and all nimbly bimbly and you know, like a little kitty cat bouncing across a hot tin roof. Wee! But when we're inside of there, it's all business. Pure business. Everything is looked at. Hey, should we go here? Hey, should we go there? Do you Please. See any yeah. Do you see any movement? If we're hitting on something, is something else moving inside of there. It's rolling the dice every time you go into an old mine. 
This is not something the goose recommends anyone doing. Unless you are seasoned and experienced. The only reason we went in there was because of the intel we got. And even then, ask the gold ninja, how much did you want to be in there? Not a whole lot. Zach Demundo. <laughs> We're so seasoned they can stand hand. Anyways, please stay out of old mines unless you know exactly what you're doing. One wrong step, and that's the last anybody will ever see of you. Ever. One wrong hit, you could bring everything down on top of you. Anyways, we're going to get home, try and pan out this block or bag of disappointment, and uh, we'll see you then.